GDNT modifying symbols add a different meaning to the profile controls. My name is Kevin Kutto and in this video let's understand modifying symbols used in profile control and their interpretations as per ASMEY 14.5 2018 standard. Do subscribe to the channel. It will help us to bring more such learning videos for you. The first modifying symbol used in profile control is encircled U or unequally disposed of tolerance zone. When profile control is used without U modifying symbol in feature control frame, it's a default condition and it means the profile tolerance zone is equally distributed on both the sides of the true profile. True profile is the one whose variation we want to control by the profile control and it is established by basic dimensions with respect to datums as in feature control frame. So in this case with respect to datum A, B and C. Now as shown in this figure, if we assume that there is no U modifier or modifying symbol in feature control frame, it means 0.3 profile control is equally divided on both the sides of the true profile. That means the tolerance zone is plus minus 0 0.15 with respect to the true profile which is defined by the basic dimensions. Now even though basic dimensions are not shown here, we establish this true profile with the help of basic dimensions with respect to datum A, B and C. Now if we add U modifying symbol beside the profile control tolerance value, it means our design demands either unilateral or unequal distribution of tolerance zone with respect to the true profile. So basically we want to override default distribution of the profile tolerance value. The tolerance value after U modifying symbol shows outside the material or outside the true profile tolerance zone. Whereas this 0.3 value shows the total profile of a surface tolerance zone. Like in this example itself, total profile control is 0.3 and outside profile control is 0.3. That means all profile tolerance zone is outside the true profile. So as you can see here, this tolerance zone is defined outside the true profile and the total tolerance value here is 0.3. In the second example, we have outside tolerance value to be 0. That means total 0.3 tolerance zone is inside the true profile. This is used in the cases where the surface has a very close interface with the mating part and we can't allow surface variation outside the true profile which might have problems with the interfacing part. Both first and second case are the cases of unilateral distribution of the tolerance around the true profile. In the first case, the tolerance zone was outside. In this case, the tolerance zone is inside the true profile. In the third case, outside tolerance is 0.1 and that means inside tolerance is 0.3 minus 0.1 which is nothing but 0.2. This is the case of unequal distribution of tolerance zone around the true profile. The second modifying symbol is all around. This symbol is shown as a circle at the corner of the leader lines that connects to the feature control frame with the profile control. It means the surface all around the part outline as shown in this view must lie between two parallel boundaries which are separated by the profile tolerance value and equally disposed of about the true profile. So as shown here, the total profile tolerance value is 0.6. That means it is equally divided plus minus 0.3 around this true profile as shown in this view. Indirectly, it is controlling the size, the form, the orientation of the true profile with respect to datum A. The third modifying symbol is all over symbol is two concentric circles. The only difference with respect to all round modifying symbol is that this applies on entire 3D surfaces and all the outlines of the part. All over basically means that surfaces all over the part outline must lie between two parallel boundaries which are separated by profile tolerance value. And these 
boundaries are equally disposed of about the true profile. For example, here we have a tolerance zone of 0.6. So all the tolerances on all the surfaces should be within plus minus 0.3. So all the 3D surfaces on this part can vary with respect to datum within plus minus 0.3. The fourth modifying symbol in profile controls is between symbol. It is used to define profile control between defined points. Like in this example, profile of a surface of 0.25 with respect to datum A as a primary, datum B as a secondary, and datum C as a tertiary are applied between D and E. Between symbol has two sided arrows. So, as you can see here, all the surfaces can vary within this tolerance zone between point D and E. The fifth modifying symbol is from 2. It is shown by one sided arrow. Like in this example, it is shown as A to B or C to D. This is used to define a gradually varying tolerance zone at the transition of the two different profile control tolerance zones. Like in this example, there are three different profile tolerance zones. The tolerance zone of 2 mm at the left side, the tolerance zone of 1 mm between B and C, and the tolerance zone of 0.5 mm at the right side of the true profile. If we don't control the transitions well, then we can end up having step on this true profile. That's where gradual transition from 2 to 1 and 1 to 0.5 is provided between A and B and C and D, which is going to help us to avoid these steps at the transitions. The sixth modifying symbol is dynamic profile and it is shown by triangle after the tolerance value in feature control frame. It generally refines the profile control using composite or multi-segment controls. And it helps us to restrict rotation or translation or purely form of the surface element. In this example, this triangle besides 0.4 is refining the form. The 2mm tolerance zone into this composite control is controlling the size, form, orientation as well as location with respect to datum ABC. 0.4 refines only form and can't prevent translation or rotation. 0.4 tolerance zone can expand and contract as shown here uniformly and as far as surfaces within both the tolerance zones part will be acceptable. So this bigger tolerance zone is 2mm and the smaller tolerance zone in which the surface can vary that means form is controlled is 0.4mm and all the surface variations has to be controlled in both the tolerance zones. But in this case, it cannot restrict the rotation. It can just control the form. That means it can contract and expand uniformly. But if we wish to restrict rotation of the dynamic profile tolerance zone, we can add datum A and B here into the phrase. That means feature relating tolerance zone framework. In that case, this 0.4 dynamic profile tolerance zone can translate in any direction and uniformly expand or contract, but it cannot rotate anymore. So hopefully now you might have got a good understanding of modifying symbols used in profile control. Do subscribe to the channel to help us bring more learning videos for you.